Chef with Midday Kentucky, and um, it looks delicious already right out of the gate. I see pasta. So what are we doing today, Allison? Well, I'm mincing garlic at the moment, but <laughs> <laughs> thanks for being here. I can as smell always. it. Oh, well, thank you for having us. We appreciate it. So, yeah, so we're going to be doing all week, just again, this whole summer probably, if I can help it, we're going to just focus on simple, quick, easy, you know, mm -hmm. dishes that we can throw together, entertain with take to the neighbor's house you name it so perfect um this is kind of a combination of two dishes but both so fast so simple that i thought we could c kind of go through both of them yeah absolutely the first one is going to be this herbed angel hair pasta okay um kids love it it's super easy first mm -hmm. of all angel hair pasta the dried pasta in the box is going to cook in a matter of like five minutes yeah it's if really that, fast it, it's like boiling water that's salted drop it in according to the box you know instructions mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. honestly within five minutes it's ready to go yes my kids love angel hair pasta yes. they love it so we cook the pasta off ahead of time but then what we're going to be doing is basically just making an herb and garlic infused oil okay and you pour that over it and that's just how you're going to season your pasta so you ah. really don't have to do anything else once you've done that oh, okay um but i love to just maybe top it with some fresh vegetables and so i just had some mushrooms that i just sauteed off okay and really that's just just like a little salt and pepper, um, maybe a little garlic there in the mushrooms, and then that is good to go. That's just something optional that you could right. just go on top. But what I, I like have it. right here is just a little oil um, heating up in the pot, and we're going to add to that a little bit of just minced garlic. Mm -hmm. You don't want to bring it so hot that it's going to boil and it's going to cook the garlic because uh -huh. if it's too hot, you know, garlic will sometimes start to get brown and mm -hmm. like get like a fried. We don't want that. We really just want it to barely kind of bubble and sizzle a bit. Okay. Um, so you see how it's just kind of a little bit of a simmer? I see it. Once it starts to do that, mm -hmm. then we are going to just turn that right off. Okay. See, I just So that was to, quick. I just wanted to heat the oil enough to where it would start to basically steep the flavor of the garlic into the oil. Oh, but it now it's turned off. Too. Um, you can do any combination of herbs that you want. For this one, I'm just going to go in with a bit of fresh basil. Mm -hmm. I love thyme and rosemary and sage, and you can sometimes pick those up in the store. It's the poultry seasoning mix, uh -huh. where it has just oh, enough yeah. of each one mm -hmm. in the pack. Yes. You can chop all that up together, throw it in your oil, and you are good to go. Fantastic. Love it. So a little bit of the basil going in there, and basically now you have a basil and garlic infused oil. Okay. And I'm just going to add a touch of salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and that is ready to go. And honestly, this could hang out for a couple days um, to where you could just keep reusing it if you wanted to over bread, over pasta, oh, yum, yeah. yeah, over eggs, <laughs> you name it. <laughs> I'll so, take it. So yeah, so that is good to go. Wonderful. And so we're going to add that on good. our pasta and then we'll top our mushrooms. But I want to serve it with a little salad. Okay. And this by far is my go-to summer salad. I probably have this twice a week at home. My daughter loves it and it is a matter of three ingredients uh -huh. <laughs> or four. And so it's just the best. I love how easy it is. I love how you keep it very simple and to the point. And I've, done, I've have done, had this salad in classes and it's always surprising to people how great it is wow. and how enjoyable. First First key thing is that we're using arugula. Okay. So fresh arugula has a little bit of a peppery um, flavor. I want you okay. to just even try it. It's yeah, a different well. flavor than any other green that I can get for, as far as salads go. It does have a peppery. It has, a, has yeah. a lot more flavor to mm -hmm. it. So that's the first step. So you start with like just it. some fresh crisp arugula. Okay. And then I'm going to just juice several limes just right over it, just fresh limes. Okay. And so in addition to this, we're going to add some olive oil with the lime juice, okay. and that's going to coat the outside of the arugula, and that is our dressing. Okay. So and no whisking, it. no mixing. Really? Just fresh lime juice, a little olive and oil, and salt and pepper just to season it. Right. And yeah. That's good to go, huh? Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to juice a few more of these, mm -hmm. and then if you want to grab that olive oil. Yep. The mega can. I can't miss that in your kitchen. <laughs> I know. I go through quite a bit, so we're always we're always using a little oil in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so a little olive oil, not too much. You just really want to um, basically just coat it. Okay. And then we're going to toss that around. A little salt and pepper. 
Gotcha. And then the last ingredient is optional. I mean, you could really just go with this right here. Yeah. Uh, but I like to bring a little bit more uh, kind of creamy and salty flavor. Awesome. And just a little Parmesan in there. Oh, it looks and fantastic. Done. Yeah. Thank you so much. I can't wait to dig in. This all looks so wonderful. I'm so hungry. Um, but if you want this recipe and uh, many other recipes, go to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, or you can go to Allison's website at WildTimeCooking.com. We will be right back right after this break.